Today, I'm giving away the best letter you can get to clean up your credit report. With this letter, you can clean up late payments, collections, charge offs, any negative accounts on your credit report, and I'm giving them away for free. Guys, people pay insane amount of money just for this letter. As you know me, I don't like scammers. Anybody who asks you to pay $100 a month just so they can clean up your credit report, they're lying to you. There's a reason why they charge you monthly. And the longer they can keep you, the more money they will make. So if you see this guy on Instagram, on TikTok, that they can remove anything from your credit report, don't trust them because they want to keep you the longer, the better. There's only a three-step process to removing anything from your credit report. And it doesn't require to pay somebody monthly to do it. The three-step process consists of step number one you need to send a demand letter it's like uh okay we put the credit bureaus on notice now they know that we want to remove this stuff from our credit reports number two is the final notice as a demand letter and number three you have to file a lawsuit against the credit bureaus listen guys i know this sounds crazy but don't believe these people that you find online that will charge you a monthly fee because it's not true same thing with lexington law they charge you 100 i think i don't remember but they charge you like i believe 100 dollars a month they do not bring you any value they're extremely slow with this letter you can get results right away within probably the first two weeks probably within the seven days depends on how fast this letter ships to the credit bureau uh, but again as i said guys there's only a three-step process to clean up your credit report and anybody who charges you a monthly fee is a uh, complete bs and it's a complete lie so make sure you guys don't fall for this don't waste your hard-earned money on believing these people even if they try to convince you that they will remove 99 percent of the stuff from your credit report it's not true because credit bureaus are very slicky and they will not remove everything this is why you will have to file a lawsuit on the stuff that you can't remove so when you file a lawsuit and you serve the papers either they will call you or you can call them on how to resolve the situation but this letter is the first step towards making extremely good progress to remove stuff from your credit report this letter includes late payments collections and charge offs before we dive into this letter you need to make sure you look over your credit report and see what needs to get moved from charge offs to collections late payments make sure you take a look and you write everything down that needs to get removed including the dates the months the account numbers that need to get removed the negative account numbers all this stuff has to get written down and then you will fill out this letter as you go from the credit report so let's dive into it and take a look at what goes on this letter first things first obviously you have to fill out your first name middle initial and the last name make sure you fill that out underneath we need to fill out street and address uh town where you live state zip code obviously all the all the natural stuff and under your date of birth you need to put your uh, last four digits of social security number again you will have to send these letters out individually to three different credit bureaus which are equifax experian and transunion uh in this case we're sending this letter to equifax for example so it has equifax address on it you have to make sure that every letter has the proper address of the bureau that you send it to also for example if you file a claim with a better business bureau or a cfpb it uh, personally i never had any luck with it because it's just again they all of them work with the credit bureaus and they it's extremely hard to remove stuff through those claims okay let's go down now let's read it notice of pending litigation seeking relief and monetary compensation under fcra 15 us code and 1681N civil liability for willful non-compliance and 15 U.S. Code and 1681O civil liability for negligent non-compliance and 15 U.S. Code 1692K civil liability. It's a little hook introduction to let them know what you're looking for. Okay, now let's go down to the description. Please accept this final written offer of settlement before litigation is my attempt to peacefully resolve your continued violation of the FCRA regarding your refusal to delete inaccurate, unverifiable, and invalidated information from my consumer file. I intend to pursue litigation in accordance with the FCRA to seek relief and recover all monetary damages that I may be entitled to under section 616 and section 617. If the inaccurate, unverifiable, and invalidated items listed below are not deleted immediately. A copy of this letter as well as an accurate item sent to you previously will also become part of the former complaint to Federal Trade Commission and shall be used as evidence and pending litigation provided you fail to comply with this offer of settlement. Okay, so now we got their attention guys. Now they know we mean serious business. Just letting you know all the three credit bureaus, they keep all the information on file that you send them. Okay, now let's go down more on the... Uh Let's finish the first page and then we'll read the second page. You're in direct violation of the FCRA. The unverified items listed below still remain on my credit report in violation of the federal law. 
you are required under the FCRA to have a copy of the original creditor's documentation on file to verify that this information is mine and is correct. Let's move to page number two, but in the same paragraph. In the results of your investigations, you stated in writing that you verified these items are being reported correctly. Who verified these accounts? Question mark. You have not provided me a copy of any original documentation, a consumer contract with my signature on it, as required under section 609A1A and section 611A1A. Furthermore, you have failed to provide the method of verification as required under section 611A7. Please be advised that under section 611A5A of the FCRA, you are required to promptly delete all information which cannot be verified. It's very obvious that your agency doesn't know what the FCRA is because from the looks of my credit report and all the errors I see you disregarding, here is my breakdown. Guys, this is just uh, the second page is basically the breakdown of the fair credit report and uh, the violations that you can read yourself right here. But uh, this information is very important to go in the file because again, they you're letting them know that you understand the FCRA laws and you understand your rights. And the person who knows their rights is the most powerful person. So you have to make sure that all of this stuff is included. You can download this letter in the description and you can fill it out yourself and send it out. Guys, you don't have to pay a single dollar to any of these crooks that lie to you and say that they want to charge you monthly for all the negative items removed. Let's look. Uh, take a look at page three real quick. This is really important because even if you take them to court, that you want to let them know that I recently applied for extended credit and was denied. I am in distress because of your mistakes. Okay, so now we wanna take a look at our credit report. We wanna see what we have for charge-offs, collections, and late payments. Okay, so for example, if you've written down your charge-offs, this is what you're gonna put for your charge-offs. Number one, under 15 US Code 1681 EB and 15 US Code 1681 I 5. This account in violation, not reporting 100% accurate. You wanna write the name of the bank, if it's a credit card or whatever it is, you wanna write the name of the bank, you wanna write the account number, copy and paste this. Your improper procedures are highly damaging to my credit score. Please immediately delete this item, okay? This is what you do for the charges, guys. This works every time. Never had a problem with this. If we're removing something from a credit report, and if it's a charge off, and you try to remove it with this, it will 100% be off, okay? No matter how many charge offs you have, it will all be removed. Okay, hard inquiries, guys. This is what you do for higher inquiries. Uh, we go to page five. For hard inquiries, you wanna make sure you write them down. Make sure you have the date of the inquiry and the creditor name, and you wanna list them by one, like this. Did not consent to unauthorized inquiry. The inquiry was not authorized. Creditor name, date of the inquiry, and then underneath it says, your improper procedures are highly damaging to my credit score. Please immediately delete this item. For late payments, uh, this, is, this is a very popular one, for late payments. Let's go to down to number 12. Under 15 USC 1666B, this is a billing error. Always pay this agreed on time. This is an error. This account is in violation. You want to write the name of the bank. You want to write the account number. Guys, this letter is, I can't stress enough how powerful this letter is. We removed so many items just for this letter alone. Just so make sure you do everything correctly. Make sure you follow all the steps. And I guarantee you will succeed. You do not need to spend a single dollar except for mailing the letters out. That's the only money you will pay in this process. Uh, let's go down. Let's take a look at some stuff down here. Again, we want to scare them a little bit that we know our rights. Violation of 15 US Code 1681 and the civil liability for willful non-compliance. This is what happens if they don't answer or if they don't remove stuff. Uh, you can read this over yourself. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. It's just common sense. Uh, again, which we want to apply the consumer law and then we want to combine it with this letter. Any person who obtains a consumer report from a consumer reporting agency under false pretense or knowingly without a permissible purpose shall be liable to the consumer reporting agency for actual damages sustained by the consumer reporting agencies or thousand dollars whichever is greater we want to make it seem that we know what we're talking about we know our rights and we will get this removed no matter what we want to scare them we we are the power here not the credit reporting agencies again we want to scare them and say please know that you have 30 days to complete this investigation as the fcra act whatever it is failure to do so we will we'll seek uh five thousand dollars per violation for defamation all this stuff financial injury also we want to let them know that we will be mailing this letter to the addresses below like attorney general's office uh ftc federal reserve system 
uh, we just want to let them know that we will be mailing those letters but in reality we won't be but we want to make sure that they know that we will be that doesn't make sense but it will make sense and then at the end you want to write sincerely because we want to keep it professional we want to be the intimidating party in this case we don't want to be afraid of Experian, Equifax, TransUnion because most of the time they do make mistakes and most of the stuff is inaccurate but again some stuff is accurate if you for example if you took out three thousand dollar credit card and you didn't pay it back that is pretty accurate but again you can remove it again you want to write sincerely you want to write your name middle initial last name and you want to attach two forms of id for example your driver's license a copy of a bank statement or like a bill whatever it is so make sure you check your credit report make sure you go over your credit report you have to identify the charge offs the collections the late payments you have to write them down and then you have to paste them into this letter guys again this letter is extremely powerful and it will remove at least for for the beginning it will remove at least 40 to 45 percent of negative accounts on your credit report guys i've tried this myself a thousand times this letter is just this letter is amazing so guys this is it if you want to get this letter it will be in the description uh, if you have any questions comments concerns please let me know in the comments and subscribe and i will see you in the next video